Whenever we think about Vikings, axes spring to mind as their primary weapon of choice in battle and how they defended themselves against their opponents. Well, that's no secret. They had shields. We're talking about Viking shields here, not just any shields. During the Viking era, these big round shields painted in a variety of vibrant colors made all the difference. This is what we'll be discussing today. Every aspect of Viking shield construction, including size, color, and usage, will be covered in detail, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. There are many different theories about how Vikings created their shields, given the fact that sources from the Viking Age differ in their descriptions. For example, according to the sagas, the Viking shield was made of linden wood, which is both lightweight and hard, but flexible at the same time. Shields were extremely important items for the Vikings. Therefore, their 10th century reworking of the regulations specifies in great detail how a Viking shield should be designed and constructed. According to these regulations, a shield should be made of thin layers of planks that are meticulously cemented together. You should probably keep in mind that when talking about Vikings and their methods of weapon making, our conception of glue is pretty different from what it was back in the day. Although we cannot be certain of the specific nature of the glue used by our Viking ancestors, it is likely that it was some type of natural adhesive material, such as slaked lime or casing glue, which has proven to be a more efficient method of joining two things together. After they've been sufficiently bonded together, the planks would be supported from one side of the shield by the shield itself. In addition, two or more pieces of iron were nailed directly into the back of the shield to strengthen its overall security. While the planks on the front of the shield were used for protection, the planks in the back were primarily used for support. The shield was topped with an iron boss, which was formed like a dome and positioned in the center. They were used to protect the gripping hand, which was positioned behind the boss. Also, several iron nails were used to attach the edge of a Viking shield for both practical and aesthetically pleasing reasons. In contrast to the planks, which were painted in a variety of colors, the edge of a shield was left in its original metal color. That was also the most aesthetically pleasing option, so it made sense to keep it that way. Because the planks accounted for 80% of the shield's surface area, the colors of the planks were the first things a person would notice. When it comes to Vikings and the style in which they waged war, the information we get through TV isn't always accurate. But don't worry, that's what we're here for. And this is where we end our video. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Please like and subscribe to the Vikings Code channel because we will be providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and we will see you in the next one.